Verse of the day the 21st of March 2024. Put to death, therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires and greed, which is idolatry. Colossians 3, 5. Thoughts on today's verse. This verse instructs believers to put to death earthly desires and sinful tendencies that can lead them away from God. The passage emphasizes the importance of actively eliminating behaviors and attitudes that are contrary to God's will. By addressing these issues head-on, believers can cultivate a life that is aligned with God's righteousness and holiness. The verse specifically mentions several sinful practices, such as sexual immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. These are all expressions of self-indulgence and disregard for God's commandments. The Apostle Paul urges believers to renounce these behaviors completely, recognizing that they have no place in the life of someone who belongs to Christ. Ultimately, this verse serves as a reminder of the transformative power of the gospel in the lives of believers. It encourages them to continually surrender their desires to God, allowing His Spirit to renew their minds and hearts. By putting to death the sinful nature and embracing the new life found in Christ, believers can experience true freedom and fulfillment in living out God's purposes for their lives. Prayer for the day. Heavenly Father, I come before you with a humble heart, recognizing my need for your guidance and strength. Help me, Lord, to put to death the sinful desires and tendencies that hinder my walk with you. Give me the wisdom and discernment to recognize the temptations that lead me away from your will, and the courage to resist them. Forgive me, Lord, for the times when I have allowed worldly desires to take precedence in my life. Help me to turn away from sexual immorality, impurity, evil desires, and covetousness, which is idolatry. May I no longer be enslaved by these sinful practices, but instead, may I be filled with a desire to honor and glorify you in all that I do. Empower me, Lord, with your Holy Spirit, that I may walk in obedience to your word and live a life that reflects your righteousness and holiness. Transform my heart and mind, Lord, conforming them to the image of Christ. Thank you for your grace and mercy that enables me to overcome sin and live victoriously in you. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.